Wednesday afternoon, office day, you know, mm. Wednesday, nacho day. Mm -hmm. So I'm in there, I'm in the oven, I'm making my nachos. Guess who? Margaret comes in, takes my nachos out of the oven and puts in her vegan lasagna. How do you even have a <laughs> vegan lasagna? Oh, well, Lisa used to be vegan. Really? You? Yeah, it was, it was a challenge, but that's, I mean, what we're having whatever Lester's serving tonight, so it's good. Mm. Lester, this, this smells incredible. And it tastes even better. You've really outdone yourself tonight. Any hints? Is it some kind of special pork? It's a rare delicacy. A special treat for us tonight. But I'll let you guess what it is. It's so tender and succulent. It's got to be slow-cooked pork belly. No, it's loin. I know pork loin when I taste it. Mm, then again, it's too tender for pork. You're all getting warmer, but it's not quite pork. I assure you, though, it's a unique experience. Well, I wish Steve was here to have it with us. It tastes amazing. He's missing out on a masterpiece. Steve is always flaking out on our dinners. He's like that one special ingredient that could make everything perfect. I haven't heard from that guy in ages. Has anyone checked up on him? Ah, uh, yes. Steve's flakiness has become his signature dish. Always late. Never shows up. That selfish prick. But, I have a feeling that tonight he'll be making an appearance. In spirit, of course. <coughs> oh god. Is that a hair? Lester, um, I think you need to wear a hairnet when you cook. <coughs> Is that a fucking toenail? Ugh. Can you guess what the secret ingredient is? <laughs> I 